Phillies and Mayors claiming Pacers, leaving the panic for the, for the 11th. Kane Kaufman drives the two. Whittle, girl, scratch the six. Ravor presenting the field. The one better laugh by Wesley Helton, trained by Tom Horner Jr., Dallas Miller. The two, Whittle, girl, owned and trained by Gary Majewski. Kane Kaufman, note the driver change. The three, Fox Valley Renee, owned by Brian Tatham, trained by Karen Seifert, Bob Harper. The four, Katie Can Scoot, owned by Suda and Belleville, trained by Michael Barrett, Jamie Dunlap. The five, Sandman's Impact, owned and trained by Ronald Gillerman, Jeff Nysonger, scratch the six, Ravor. The seven, TSM Star Burst, owned by John Howard, trained by Virgil Morgan Jr., Brett Miller. The eight, Mega Rose, owned by Robertson Smith, trained by Larry Tinch, Jack Daly. The nine, Flying Apache, owned by Newton Thomas, trained by Lloyd Hawk, Dan Noble. Rounding out the field, the 10, Forever and Ever, Amen, owned by Elizabeth Ravello, trained by Randy Owens, Jim Shelton. Field of nine, claiming Phillies and Mares go to the post in less than six minutes. They're off and pacing on the inside. A Whittle Girl leaving well, Fox Valley Renee. On the far outside, a Flying Apache into the first turn. A Whittle Girl on the inside. Flying Apache on the outside. Also leaving TSM Starburst on the outside. Flying Apache now takes a length lead away from TSM Starburst. Racing in third, a Whittle Girl. Fox Valley Renee sits fourth. Then comes Better Laugh fifth on the inside. Forever and never, amen. Katie Can Scoot. Then comes Sandman's Impact trailing the field of Mega Rose as they approach the opening quarter mile marker. Opening quarter, 28 and 3. Into the stretch for the first time. Flying Apache and Dan Noble calling the shots a length and a half. TSM Starburst racing in second. Whittle Girl sits third. First over Fox Valley Renee. That gives forever and never amen. Second over cover along the inside. Better laugh. Sits sixth. Third over. Katie can't scoop behind that one. Mega Rose along the inside. Sandman's impact. Five lengths from the lead. Into the clubhouse turn. Still leading the way. Flying Apache. The lead is a length. Racing in second. TSM Starburst. Fox Valley Renee still moves up first over along the inside. A Whittle Girl sits fourth forever and never. Amen. Second over and fifth on the inside. Better laugh racing in sixth. Third over Katie can scoot. Then comes Sandman's impact. The trailer Mega Row seven lengths from the lead. Midway up the back stretch. It's still flying Apache. The lead is a length. On the outside, still coming on is Fox Valley Ray in the pocket. TSM Starburst. She needs a racing room. Third on the inside, a Whittle Girl ready to go three wide forever and never. Amen. They got the half in 59 and 2, three quarters, 128 and 3 into the far turn. It's still flying. Apache, a length lead. TSM Starburst racing in second. Fox Valley Renee third on the inside. A Whittle Girl fourth. Forever and ever and amen. Struggling fifth, top of the stretch. Flying Apache first off the turn. TSM Starburst out for the drive. She comes up the super stretch. Fox Valley Renee in third in deep stretch. Flying Apache. TSM Starburst is surging. TSM Starburst takes the lead in deep stretch. TSM Starburst in front. Close photo for second between the nine. Flying Apache and the five. Sandman's impact. But it was TSM Starburst and Brett Miller 158 and three. Results are official. In the winner's circle, the winner of the 11th race, the seven, TSM Starburst. She's a Bay three-year-old filly by Jaken Elwood. Out of the Sir B. Mayor, TSM Beaming Star, owned by John Howard of West Virginia, trained by Virgil Morgan Jr., driven a victory by Brett Miller. For Brett Miller, this is his fourth winner of the night with a seven TSM Starburst. Prices are up the Exacta, 7 5, 11 40. The Tri, combination of 7 5 and 9, 142 20 for a $2 ticket.